Hi, I'm Peter South, and I'm here with my good buddy, Preston, Preston Fairchild. Cheers. We're on the set of Massa and the Power. I believe it's uh, pronounced Massa. Massa. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. you're right. Yeah, right. Today, we're gonna talk about racism. Uh, we really have taken an initiative to really help uh, get out the word out there that racism is just absurd. Right, we want to educate. People, educate, because we, we're actors, we're artists, but we're also educators. We're human beings. We're human you beings. Know? Right. For me, racism is pretty absurd because uh, I'm from a small town in uh, Yorkshire. It's mm. called Beverly. You've never Probably heard of it. Probably haven't heard it. Mm -hmm. But um, racism just doesn't exist there. It's all white people living together harmoniously, beautifully. So wait, um, they look like you? They don't look like me. But I have a really particular case that I'm not going to get into right I mean, now. Don't because... people give you a hard time for looking Mexican? I mean, what we're about to do is recreate a racist scene, a racist scenario, to show and pinpoint the absurdities that exist within culture. So what we've created for you today is my friend here, Peter, is going to play a Mexican. He's going to play a gardener. Yeah, hola. And I'm going to play a uh, racist from the South. So, here we go. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Hey man, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, you need to Hola, stop. jefe. Man, just fucking look down when you look at me, man. Oh. All right, motherfucker. Lo siento, hombre. Shut your goddamn mouth when I talk to you. Look down, motherfucker. I like I'm that looking... shit. How much fucking money do I owe you? Uh, it's uh, esta cuatro horas. Uh, you realize it's America, right? I can't understand a goddamn word you're saying, man. Just fucking speak English, man. It's not that fucking hard. Look at me, man. Twenty. Twenty dollars. Oh man, look right here. Yeah. I have about seven. I know I'm kind of late, but I know your ass can't do shit about it anyways. What's up with that um that little that little band piece that came with you that picked you up the other day? She, she had like some, some fucking fucking tits like the size of. Ah oh, oh yeah, me sister. Oh your sister, man. She looks good. I told you you need to go to fucking college, man. You need to learn the language, motherfucker. Sure. All right. Okay. It Absolute mando. There you go. Yeah. That's sort of it. it. Sounds fucking weird. You're kind of bastardizing fucking language that I fucking love and honor. Don't get too familiar, motherfucker. Get back to work. And end scene. So like we just see, oh. I was being a racist. Okay, I was just kind of talking down yeah, to him. Yeah, careful. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Unfortunately, these racist people—they're going to exist. They just exist in this world and. It is unfortunate. That, you just kinda, you just, it's just this kind of a waiting game. These people are going to die off eventually. The point I think that he's trying to make, kids, is that... Don't be a racist. You just look like a dick. A spit on racism. Fuck racism. Fuck it. Can you hear this? Fucking racist pigs out there. Yeah. God. Fuck you.